Let's, you're comfortable enough. Let's talk about sex, baby. <laughs> the horn. <laughs> the horny horn outside, what do you know? Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. I just said to Lena, because Christopher went out. We're excited. He went to the seafood market. He's going to buy some seafood for Lena's birthday. Oh, sweetheart, you think of everything. I didn't even think of it as a birthday present, but thank you. Well, I know you wanted some calam fr fresh calamari. We can make a sauce, or we could try to oven bake it, we, or we could split it up and do two things with it, if you like. But three pounds should be plenty to work with. A pound and a half here, a pound and a half there. Yeah, calamari shrinks down, though. Well, then we'll work it out, and we'll get it done. Let's talk about sex. All right, so you were saying Chris went out. Yeah, Chris went out. We know he'll be gone for a couple of hours because he's doing all kinds of crazy things today. All right. We have the whole place to ourselves all afternoon. Yeah. We had a great channel this morning. Busted it wide open for Lionsgate Portal with our friend Cher. And other assorted guests, right? Sure, she's too much. Hey, we could. No, we're not doing that. All right. <laughs> You're crazy. Do what you want. <laughs> Let's talk about sex, baby. All right. So, as soon as uh, Chris left, usually John, I pounce. Yeah. But we're both so kind of like, ugh. So I said, are you as tired as I? And he said, I'm more tired. I said, I'm more tired than you are, if you can believe that. I said, you're not pouncing. What is wrong? I'm nervous. Yeah. And I said, I'm just, don't take it personally, honey. It has nothing to do with you or me. We're allowed to be tired. Too tired for sex you know, active, vigorous sex. But we can talk about sex. <laughs> Let's talk about sex, baby. And Lena gets embarrassed. She doesn't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. What do you want to talk about? John, don't show me that. <laughs> well, it's either we talk about why do I have to do either or. Why, why, why? I love you. I love you too, you big stud. However, hmm. Well, last we left off, I believe you had your hands down my pants during our last sex talk, which wasn't much of a sex talk. She likes to put her hands down my pants, but you know how she does it? Oh, John. I'm telling you, this is good stuff. She'll come up behind me. Mm -hmm. Do I have your permission for this? It's nothing that bad. It's just what I do. And she never did this with any other guy. No, I never did. And I've been married twice and I've had a lot of lovers. Mm -hmm. If you want to call them that. <laughs> Why not? They, they, we loved them. We used them for love. Yes. We loved them up. We loved their bodies. Mm -hmm. And we let their bodies love our bodies. Right. But you're my lover, lover, lover. Mm -hmm. And did any girl ever do that with you? Nope, you're it. Never, not one of them did it to me. All right, well, now you have to say what it is because you're making it sound worse than it is. What do you mean worse than what is? Just to, Oh, so now it's okay to describe what you do. Well, how do you do... Why, what makes you do it? I could tell you like it. I could. I knew from the beginning that you would like it. That it's your thing. I can't believe I'm talking about this. Wait a minute. Chris? Yes. You're back? Yes, yes, thank you. See you later. All right, bye. 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 Have a good one. I hate when he comes back and doesn't say he's back. Because he's embarrassed because he forgot something. But then I just hear somebody walking around out there. And I think that they're going to fucking kill me. So why doesn't he just uh, identify himself that he came back? Oh, why does he do that? Oh, he's back. No, he's gone again, but... Oh, uh, no. 
Honey, don't worry. Nobody's going to come in here and kill you. Would you please now? Let's talk about you with your hands down my pants. All right, you describe it. I, I love it. I, I, I want to describe it. No one's stopping you. You should go ahead and describe it. I'll be standing like, uh, I don't know. Let's say doing the dishes, maybe. Mm. <laughs> doing the dishes. Yeah. She will come up behind me. When do you do the dishes? Just, I'm using it as a thing. He's curling my toes. <laughs> Aren't you glad we didn't start having sex? Because he came back. I know. And by the time we finish this video, you'll be in the mood. How do you figure? I know you. You think you know me very well, don't you? I think it scares you how well I know you. You have to say that in such a bitter way. She comes up behind me. What? I love you. Stop it. I'm not put off by your crabby behavior, so don't try. Lena comes up behind me, John. And I'll be wearing, say, Levi's. or You don't like Levi's. You like Lee's. I know because I like Lee's, and they're our favorite jeans. Next to, like, Wrangler's. But we like Lee's. I like Levi's. Well, they fit you better. Can I wear Levi's? Wear what you want. I'm wearing Lee's. These are more, uh, they give you better, they're better in the hips for women, I think. But I don't know. It's been a long time since I threw on a, a good pair of jeans. I do love, I love you in jeans. I love you in jeans. I love you more in jeans. No, I love you. Remember my faded glories? Oh, yes. I had faded glory bell bottoms and a matching vest. That's John making that noise. And they were like a faded, washed out sky blue color. They became so light. And I wore it with a tube top. That was my uniform for such a long time. Just change up the tube top. I washed my pants every night, people. I was never dirty. I just had favorite outfits that I like to wear. Not all the time. A lot of the time. I don't know that we can finish this video. Lena comes up behind me and she puts her hands down the front of my pants. And that's all I'll say. Really? Yeah. She wraps her arms around me tight. And she slides her hands down my pants in the front. And then it's all over. <laughs>